What's up guys, back with another quick video here. I just wanted to go over a couple things to add on to my last video about Trudeau and how he wants to create a thought police as imploring uh, police to uh, take a focused approach on uh, people who are threatening uh, politicians and journalists and trying to pretend how it's a uh, systemic campaign to stop women from running for office, stop women from uh, voicing their opinions, and stop good people from running for office and being cr uh, critiques of the government, which is ironic because the government's the ones trying to shut that down. So if you, if you read 1984, that's classic uh, double double speak uh, strategies. They say one thing and they say the opposite and they, meet, they try to make it seem like it's the same thing. So Trudeau wants to create a thought police, which is the most dictatorship thing, and in my opinion, that's the most desperate uh, sign that he knows that his uh, power is crumbling. And at any moment, uh, if Jagmeet Singh decides to, uh, I don't know, do anything at all, uh, he could uh, pull his support for this stupid coalition that he uh, decided to join for whatever goddamn reason he has. I have no idea why he would do that, but he could pull the support for the Liberals and force us into a snap election, and then everyone knows what would happen. We would have a supermajority conservative government that would destroy the Liberals, and the Liberals would go back to where they were um, when Jack Layton was leading the NDP, and that's probably as a minority, and that's saying a lot, given how weak the NDP is today. But anyways, uh, I'm not getting into that. I'm just going to get into a couple things. You know, Trudeau saying, uh, you know, it's going to stop good people from running for office, going to stop good people from critiquing the government and, and journalism. But the whole thing about this COVID era, era is that the journalists have been the henchmen for the politicians and have been the ones uh, spouting the rhetoric that the tyrannical dictatorships want to implement on us for the rest of history. So I'm going to go into a couple things that, sh that uh, exemplify that, in my opinion. And uh, I love to focus on CTV because it's one of the leading propaganda networks in Canada. And this is a new article, uh, September 6th, that was uh, just today, um, early this morning. Or, or actually, no. Yeah, it was in late afternoon that they published this one. So, uh, majority of Canadians view a politician's open support of trucker protest as negative. Well, I think that's hilarious because if you ask anybody, uh, almost anybody, they have some support for the truckers. Uh, they may not understand the full situation because they were eating up the propaganda and, you know, the trucker came right. They're the ones that, uh, you know, right at the end of the psychosis, basically, uh, were, they're the ones that broke the spell. So a lot of people were still under the spell when the trucker convoy was coming and a lot of people are coming around to it after the fact. So... Um, that that's why I want to get into this. Uh, they talk about uh, how they they took a poll and the majority view the trucker protest or politicians open support of the trucker protest as negative. Why are they doing that? Because they know Pierre Polyev is going to be elected as the leader of Conservative Party, and he had an open support of the trucker convoy, and they need to use that to attack Pierre Polyev. And that's just simply all it is about, is how they're going to target Pierre Polyev in every day, everything, just like the Democrats in the U.S. target Trump. They're going to try and target Pierre Polyev with that much uh, force, and uh, they're going to go ahead and do that. And I guarantee that's why they're doing this. But the thing is, as I want to get on to, is they only ever uh, poll a thousand or so Canadians, and they t decide that that represents the entire country. And, and they always, it's a nanos poll, by the way. Uh, Nanos is, uh, is a group that works for CTV and they do their polling for them. So commissioned by CTV News and Nanos. So Nanos gets money and they do a poll that CTV News wants to talk about. You don't think CTV News wants to talk about freedom, do you? Well, no, of course they don't. They want to talk about how those who support freedom are evil and need to be shut down. And I'm going to go into a few examples really quick just to show that for you guys. And this is over the last couple of years. So here's one. Uh, again, I highlight the thousand Canadians just so everyone can know that's basically what it is. January 2021, more than 7 in 10 Canadians support barring unvaccinated people from businesses. Why did they do that in January 2021? Well, because most people in this country weren't vaccinated and we were trying to get out of the pandemic and we thought the restrictions would end once most people got vaccinated. But they wanted to shut down the government. The, they wanted to segregate society and they wanted to create unvaccinated uh, restrictions and they wanted to create a uh, two-tier society where they could uh, manipulate people and divide people, divide and conquer. So they did that early, just like they're trying to do the uh, politicians open support of trucker protests negative because they could have done a poll on the pro trucker protest as a whole, but they wanted to do a poll on the politicians open support of the trucker for protest. You see what I'm getting at? They plant the seed, they water it daily, and then they're going to harvest later. So that's what they're trying to do here with Mayor Polyev. And if we go back in time, we can see that they were planting the seeds of restrictions against unvaccinated people, and they've harvested those in a few months. That's exactly what happened. Here's another one. Over three in four Canadians show support for denying unvaccinated people access to sporting events and indoor dining. Uh, this was in August 2020. So obviously they were really still talking about it early on. It's a Nanos poll for the Globe and Mail. So here's another one. 
another nanos poll these are all nanos polls uh, most Canadians support health care workers refusing treatment to threatening disrespectful unvaccinated patients now they had to add threatening disrespectful unvaccinated patients into the survey because they wanted to make it seem like all the unvaccinated people are unruly and don't want to follow restrictions don't care about your life and your family's life and everybody else in your community so they had to make them out to be the evil person in the pro in the in the poll so that they could get generate the result that they wanted and the result they wanted is the support for uh, health care workers refusing treatment and then they had to add on the ad, uh, ad hominem to make it seem like it was justified here's another example a uh, poll shows majority of Canadians support barring unvaccinated people from public gatherings in August 2021. So this is, uh, you know, the, another thousand person poll, thousand and two people on this one. And here's another example, a thousand and forty nine people on this one, a majority of Can Canadians surveyed support fines for unvaccinated citizens. And this was this year, right before the trucker convoy. So these people were working, Nano's was, research was working on these mandates, working on this, these policies and working on this propaganda for CTV News, Global Mail and all the other propaganda networks for the last two years. And as you can see, uh, if you go back in time, you can see that a lot of these things ended up happening. And a lot of these things um, uh, are wrong. And, and as science tells us, and I can't say this too much on YouTube, I just came back from a suspension, but we can, you know what I'm getting at, is the thing that they got everyone else to get didn't actually do what they wanted and didn't actually justify any of these polls but the, the point I'm getting at is that Nanos was doing all this stuff for CTV News. And if you look at this survey here, guys, I just wanted to make it another, uh, come right back home to it full circle. Majority of Canadians view politicians open support of trucker protest is negative. This is CTV News dog whistling their supporters and trying to get everybody against Pierre Polyev because they know this is the week that the Conservative Party of Canada reveals who their new leader is. And it's obviously going to be a Pierre Polyev who's going to actually fight against these mandates like with the bill that he's talking about uh, putting in front of Parliament, which will stop any government in the future of imposing mandates on their people and actually make it illegal to do so, which should be actually a law. And I can't believe it wasn't before, but it is It is something that we need to add in there. So obviously CTV News by all those other polls is not going to go for that. So they need to start more polls that are going to show that a majority of people view uh, freedom-loving politicians that support trucker protests as native. And even if, and even then, it's like, 58 percent outside of quebec so it's like 50 50 out of the thousand people that they handpicked for these pro for these uh polls so with that guys uh that's all i got for you today uh don't forget uh, trudeau's trying to create a, a dictatorship and a thought police and he wants to enforce uh, protections against uh protesting the government so uh with that guys we're just gonna take it easy don't forget to take it